Hey everybody, thank you for joining me. I'm here today to talk about Meta's upcoming demo of their new Cambria headset. That's their higher end mixed reality headset that we expected to be announced earlier in the year. Now I firmly believe this is going to be announced early January. This is a bit of me putting two and two together to make four, but I think there's some fairly clear logic there that makes this a very firm bet. So why do I believe that? Well first I'll have to take you back to the Connect event earlier this year. We very much expected to get a new hardware announcement at this event and it didn't come. And in fact, it almost came. We saw in that event that a headset was brought in in this kind of secret package case and shown to Mark Zuckerberg. They alluded to it as if they're about to go on to talk about it and then we never saw it again. That must be Angela, our head of VR devices. Hey, Angela. Hey, Mark. Is that what I think it is? I sure hope it is. All right, come on in. That was really odd, and it was really clear to anyone watching that they had edited the footage, and what was once in there had been cut out. They did tell us they were working on it and that we would get more details next year, but it was really brief, and it wasn't what we were all expecting. In fact, going into the event, we had all seen the leaked animation that was likely going to be in the video at one point. We'd seen what the headset looked like, we'd seen people standing in front of a mirror with a sort of full body tracking system in place, we'd seen them working at a workstation, doing some collaboration across a team. It looked really cool, we were expecting it to land in that Connect event. It didn't. So, to know it's going to be dropped immediately, we need to get into the detail of why it would have been stripped from that event in the first place. The first reason it would have been stripped is that I believe they wanted to really emphasize the importance of the name change to Meta. I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. If they had announced hardware during that event, then it would have taken the shine off anything else. That is what we'd have gone away and talked about. I quickly did a video following the event talking about the name change to Meta. If they would announce new hardware, I'd have definitely been talking about that instead. I know that is what I'd have been excited about. The name change to the Meta team is massive. It marked a clear change of direction for their company and they want people to be focusing on it. The second reason why they would have stopped any announcement during that event is that I firmly believe it would have hampered their sales of Quest 2 this Christmas. This Christmas is likely to be the most successful year for sales of Oculus or Meta hardware that there has ever been. If Meta had announced a new headset just before those Christmas sales, people would have been unsure what to buy, even though it's in a clearly different price bracket and it's targeting a different level of consumer, people wouldn't have known if it's right to buy the older tech. It really would have taken a shine off it. People wouldn't be thinking of it as the new thing. Now that isn't a great idea and it really would have cost them a lot of money. So I understand why they would have diverted their plan at that late point. But that all aside, the product is ready. They were ready to show it to us. They're ready to deliver it. Last year when they showed us the Quest 2 at CES, it launched almost immediately. So when they demo these things, they're ready to go. So we would have had it on sale pretty close. So we know why it was stripped, but why early January? Well, Meta are on the list of exhibitors at CES this year. They're in a really high prominent position at the top of that list, so I think it's gonna be a firm announcement at this event. Now the choices they've got, they could go in and they could continue to demo the Quest 2. I think that would be incredibly boring. Anyone who's interested enough in tech to be at CES knows what a Quest 2 is and have likely tried one. In fact, they've likely got one by this point. So they've got to do something different. They could show some new gameplay, I don't think that's going to work either because they've got their own event just around the corner. The meta gameplay event is expected to be around sort of early April time, so they need to save any really good footage for that event. CES is a really important event to what was the Oculus team. It's where they first demoed the Rift. It created so much hype that led them onto a really successful Kickstarter campaign. I believe they would love to continue to be able to have that kind of impact at the event. But that all being said, I could be reading too much into this. Meta do like to have their own events. They like to be in control of things. They like to put it on their platform. So it's very possible they could run their own event early next year. I don't know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are they gonna be demoing the new headset at CES? I certainly hope so. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please press the subscribe button. I'm on the hunt to a thousand subscribers. And I'm getting really, really close. Every sub really helps me out. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.